go. Introducing Steve, a motivated learner who's underserved by the institutions and opportunities around him. But out in the world, Steve sees lots of content and experiences that might help him learn. Steve's problem is, where's the path forward? Introducing Learniverse. Learniverse is ideally the GPS of learning that helps Steve chart that path through the sea of experiences and content that can make him a smarter person. Here's how Steve might learn about the Learniverse. For instance, he might be talking with a friend and mention this thing called service design. And the friend might say something like, Steve, geez, that's the, the third time you've mentioned it. I think you should move beyond just browsing and Googling that term to actually learning about it. And here's how Learniverse works. It begins with creating a profile, and then from that profile, building recommendations, and then those recommendations lead to activities. And it's a platform that contains experts, content providers, curators, mentors, life maps, and all the way this is used, people are building credibility each time it's used. So the profile might start with Steve talking about his interest, his experience, uh, the last book he read, the way he likes to learn. And then he might establish where on this spectrum he wants to land. Does he, is it a slow process or a more fast-paced one? Is it more of a casual experience he's looking for? Or does he actually want to get certified in the end and have the learning outcomes measured? Once Steve has finished his profiling experience, it's time for Learniverse to introduce him to his path forward. Here come the recommendations. Here's some people that Steve might want to follow on Twitter. Here are some conferences or workshops in the area that he lives. Perhaps there are websites and books that are around that subject matter. Or even better, here's some mentors that Steve could connect with that can help him chart a path forward. Sometimes to figure out your path forward, you could maybe learn from the paths of other people that have gone down a similar road. One way to see Learniverse is not just as something that connects you to a world of content out there, but also to different people that can help influence your learning. Anyone from other people that are learning at the same time as you, to mentors, authors, thought leaders, or even meetup groups that are getting together. Probably one of the most important interactions that Steve might enjoy is with a mentor who, whether free or on a paid basis, would connect with Steve in the real world to, to ask him how he's doing on his path to becoming a service designer and maybe making some little suggestions on new experiences that might help. One of the things that's going to benefit Steve the most is that as he's learning, so is the system. It's understanding his progress and creating a better way to make recommendations. For instance, some of those recommendations might be location specific. You're near some, some place that aligns with one of your interests, and you'd get a notification about that and be able to capitalize on that opportunity. At the end of the day, Steve is going to want to know how well he's doing. That's why Learniverse contains a dashboard that allows Steve to see how many articles or videos he's seen, what types of conferences and events he's gone to, and where his path is going in relation to the other people that are learning the same subject at the same time, which will lead Steve from a beginning state where he's just the, the person that's trying to learn so that he can become eventually the expert that has something to give back to the Learniverse community. Woohoo! So the only question is, what's next for Steve? <laughs>